Hello everyone, welcome back to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about a really helpful topic. How to convert your Figma designs into HTML and CSS with just a few clicks, without writing any code yourself. Now, if you are a designer or a developer, you are probably already familiar with Figma. It's one of the best tools out there for creating website and app designs. But here's one thing. Once your design is ready, the next step is turning that design into actual code so it can go live on a website. Now this is where things can get a little tricky. Figma does offer a developer mode that allows you to see the code behind your designs. But there's a catch. It's the part of Figma's paid plan, which not everyone may want to invest in, especially if you're working on personal projects or you're just starting out. But don't worry. In today's video, we'll show you a much easier and more importantly, free way to convert your Figma designs into HTML and CSS code using some amazing tools. These tools will help you take your designs and turn them into clean, working code without having to manually write anything yourself. This can save you hours of effort. We'll be focusing on two great tools, Dwise and Teleport HQ. Both tools are designed to make the process as smooth as possible. You can take your Figma designs and turn them into fully functioning websites with responsive layouts, meaning your site will look good on both mobile and desktop screens. So whether you are a designer who wants to bring your ideas to life or a developer looking to save time, these tools have got you covered. So let's dive in and get started. So first we'll start with Dwise. So Device is an awesome tool for those of you who are looking for more customization and control over the code. So it's great for developers who want to go deeper and tweak the output to make sure the code fits their exact needs. Now Device not only generates HTML and CSS, but also supports more advanced frameworks like React or Vue, making it perfect for developers working on complex web pages. So let's get started. First, let's go to Figma. So usually you will be having a Figma design to be converted. So for this demo, I'm using a web page which is available in our Figma community. So let's open this in Figma. So this is basically a website with three pages. So let's just zoom in. Yeah, first we have the main page. Then we have a page for pricing. Then we have a page for sign up. So our aim is to write a code for this particular website. So to, for using the device, there are two options. Either you can Use the plugin, go to plugin, go to manage plugin. And here you have the device plugin. So either you can do it this way or you can go to the device website. So in this demo, we'll be going to the device website. You can sign up for free. Yes. So now what you have to do is you have to create a web app. Choose this option. Start building. So now you have to name your application. So let's just name it as demo one for now. And then, as you can see, you can select a framework. You have HTML, Next.js, React, Shopify, Liquid. So right now, we'll be working on HTML. And then again, you have design system. You can select between CSS or Tailwind CSS. So in this project, we'll be selecting CSS. Yes. And now you have to give the URL, the Figma URL. Okay. So before you give the URL, make sure to do a quick run through of your projects to make sure that everything is in place and is all right so that you don't have to spend much time debugging and fixing your code because that is such a tedious job, right? So just check if everything is in place and make sure the pages and elements in it are framed properly and the elements are grouped. So as you can see here, these elements are not grouped. So let's just group it. Group selection. Yes, now it's grouped. So let's just frame this. So select everything. Just a second. Yes. Right click. Frame selection. Yeah. So now you can copy this URL and paste it over here and then press start building. So as you can see, the device has recognized all our three pages. So either you can work in one of the pages or you can select all the screens. So right now we'll be selecting all the screens. Confirm the selection. We also, they have also given the thumbnail over here. So right now we are not working on it. We are just working on the screen. So confirm selection. And then you can check these boxes, like whether you have to retain Figma textiles in the code, whether you want to keep layer names as defined in Figma and everything. So let's just click all these, apply and continue. Now again, here you can, you know, change the title. We are going to keep it the same, save and continue. 
and here you can configure your applications elements like if you want to merge CSS files, you know the typography unit, whether you need it in pixel or REM, I'll just keep it in pixel. We want a responsive design, so I've picked it. So let's save and continue. So the device is downloading everything, you know, extracting theme, downloading category assets, optimizing groups, everything. It will take some time. And finally, we have it here. As you can see, it has recognized everything. It has recognized the auto-identified UI components and custom UI components. So we have header, you can even view it. Three headers, because we have three pages, in the main page, sorry, our main page, pricing page and sign up. And we have 19 columns. We have images, we have rows, header menu, we have texts, footer, link, input, everything. And here even it has recognized the buttons. So now let's just press the let's start button. Yes. So let's just preview this first. So as you can see, we have to make some changes because as you can see, you know, the start to take has to come here. Yeah, so once you preview, you know, you'll get an idea of what to change. Because before generating the code, we have to make necessary changes in the design. And here also, this is the default one. You can also, you know, check it in mobile resolution. So this is how it comes in the mobile resolution. This is how it will be seen in the laptop. See, as you can see in the laptop, it's fine. You know, the laptop view is fine. It's properly aligned. So I don't think we have to make much changes in the laptop view. And this is the tablet view. Tablet view also seems to be fine. Now there's a problem over here. So once you see this, you can go back and make the changes in the design. So let's just close this for now. So after the preview, you can make the necessary changes in the design over here. So, so as you can see, you can make the necessary changes over here. Okay, you can change the display. You can change the spacing. You can add padding. You can add the margin. Again, if the sizing, you can change the width, the height, everything. Again, you can browse through this. You can change the position. You can change the typography, the font of the text that you have selected. Also, you can give borders. You can change borders, give effects. And once you're done with this, you just have to save the changes over here. So again, you can go into each of the section. Here is the layout tree on the left side. So in the div column, we have the header. Under the header, we have the image, this image. We have the header menu. We have the buttons. Here we have the footer. So after you have made the necessary changes, you can actually view the code here. Yes. So this is the main HTML code. Also, what you can do is you can go to a specific vision like... Uh, you can generate code for that particular section alone too. So how easy was that? You even did not have to write a single line of code by yourself. So there is everything, you know, it's divided into classes. So basically the device works on BEM methodology. Now BEM means block, element and modifier. So block means it's an independent entity. It can be a button. An element will be inside the block, like an arrow sign for the button or anything. And then comes a modifier. The modifier, it consists of the color, like, you know, the button's color, the shade, whether it's transparent, whether it's in dark mode, light mode, etc. So as you can see, this is the block inside the class. This is the element and this is the modifier. Now, after that, you can download the code. So for downloading the code, you need to select a plan. So right now, we'll just view the code. So let's just press here. Let's go to build the app. So this is our code after building the app. As you can see, we have the folder structure. We have a public. It's a static assets holder inside which, inside the public, we have the images, fonts, and then we have the CSS. Inside that, we have the styles, you know, the style sheet. And then we have the index HTML file. So you can check the code one by one over here. So this code is of the main page, the first page. This code is of the pricing page. And then this is of the sign up page, the third page. So as you can see, you have got a complete, you know, a complete set of code, complete HTML, CSS code for the website without writing a single line of code. Now what you can do is, you know, you can refer from this and you can work on VS code. Or if you have, you know, if you're ready to pay, you can actually, you know, download your code. Now, before going to the next tool, if you are interested in a career in UI UX, kickstart your design career with the Caltech UI UX Bootcamp, an immersive Gen AI power program designed to equip you with hands-on experience in cutting-edge design tools and techniques. 
This boot camp offers a prestigious certificate from Caltech CTME along with up to 10 continuing education units. You will build a professional design portfolio through capstone projects, get end-to-end -end mentor support and master 21 essential UI UX tools like Figma, Notion and Maze. The program also includes master classes by Caltech instructors and industry experts. With Simply Learn's job assist, gain visibility from top hiring companies and take your first step towards becoming a UI UX design expert. Enroll now to transform your career and showcase your expertise. You can find the course link in the description box and pin comments. So the next tool that we'll be talking about is Teleport HQ. So Teleport HQ is perfect if you want something quick, easy and beginner friendly. So with Teleport HQ, you can go from Figma design to a responsive website with almost no effort. And it's great for those who just want to get a site up without diving too deep into the code. So let's go and install the plugin, the Teleport HQ plugin. I've already installed it. So basically you have to go to manage plugin and search for Teleport HQ plugin and install it. I've already installed it, so let me run it. So now I've selected this particular frame. You can select even multiple frames. Right now I'm working in this particular frame. So there are two options. Either you can copy the objects to your clipboard, then go to, you know, to teleport HQ and paste it over there. Or you can export it as a new project, which will directly take you to the teleport HQ site. So let's just export as a new project. It's copying the elements one by one. So once you reach here, you can edit, you can just zoom out and you can edit your design. Again, you can check the resolutions over here, you know, whether it's responsive or not. Yes. So first you can make the necessary changes. For example, if we selected this text, you can change, you know, its alignment. Let's just keep it middle aligned. You can change the text style. You can change the size, you can change the position. You can, you know, like seen in the device, you can also, you know, change the margin, you can add margin padding, you can change the text color, yeah, you can add border, you can change the background and everything. And similarly, not only on text, you can do it everywhere, you can, you know, work on your logo. So you just have to go to your left hand side and click the elements that you want to edit. So this is of this particular text. We are expanding to 100 plus countries. So, you know, you can select element by element from your left side and edit it accordingly. So here also you can, you know, create new components. Like you can create custom components of your choice or also you can add the pre-built elements which you can find in the library. Now, while editing the design, you can also add sections. Like in case while designing in Figma, if you have forgot to add some sections or layers, you can add it over here. So for that, you can go to sections. And as you can see, you know, there are a variety of sections, variety of templates for each section. For example, you can add banner, blog post header, contact forms, call to action, FAQ. You can even add the whole hero section, the not found page, the pricing page, sign in, sign up page, anything. And they have even in one section, a single section, they have a variety of templates. For example, let's just try the team. So Meta team is generating the content for the section. See, as you can see, this is the template that we have received for team. This is pretty cool, right? So now you can just, you know, these are the placeholders and you can change the images. So this is how you can add sections. Now, once everything is done, our next step is to view the code and download the code. We have a publish option over here. We can publish the project, but for publishing the project, we actually need a professional plan. So what you can do is, we can view and download the code. Now in the free plan, we can view and download the code 10 times. So let's just view the code first. So here we have the HTML code and here we have the CSS code. Now let's just download it. We want it in HTML, download the zip file. Once it's downloaded, extract all the files. Okay, now what you can do is let's just see this in the browser. You can open it in Google Chrome. Now for making necessary edits in the code, we have to export the code to VS code, you know, the downloaded code. So for that, we can just, like first VS code must be installed in your device and then just open it with VS code. So as you can see, you have the index.html file, which is the HTML code. And also you have the CSS code. So as you can see, you just designed a website using Figma and here you have the code you know, without putting any effort and without writing a single line of code. This is pretty cool, isn't it? So now you can make necessary changes in the VS code and then publish it.
So that's a wrap of our video. I hope you found this video helpful in learning how to convert your Figma designs into HTML and CSS codes using Device and Teleport HQ. So whether you need customization or a quick, simple solution, these two tools have got you covered. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.